Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to make one of these really cool text portraits using Adobe Express. Hello and welcome to Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers. Okay, to do this you will need to be in Adobe Express, which is an app you can download for free. Once you've opened Adobe Express, you will need to click the plus button. We're going to start from a solid colour, we're going to start from white, click next. We'll use the Instagram one so we get some text. Once we've got the text, we'll tap on it. And then we can type in what we want. We'll do it in capitals. Once you've got the writing, you can then explore ways to make it look cool. In Adobe Express, it's got a whole bunch of things that you can edit. But the best thing on it is the recommendations. So you can swipe through the recommendations and it will choose different ways of arranging the text for you. Once you've found one that you like the look of, I like this one, you can then go along to spacing and you can make the gaps between the words much smaller so that it looks better as an image. Click done and then tap on it again, go to style and it has this little wheel. If you move it round, it will try out different styles for you until you find the one that you like the look of. Now, I quite like this one where you've got the words like so I and mean, then you can experiment with it in a different size I really like that so I'm going to click done I'm then going to click on it make sure I've got the colours the right way around so to do the effects so I want the text in black done and I want the shape in white done I'll then move that over here I'm going to play around with the spacing again and bring them much closer together like so I'll experiment with the shape as well, like so. Once I'm happy with this, I just need to do one more thing, and then we are ready to add the photo. So the first thing we need to do is add in a shape, a nice rectangle from the shapes. Add that, make sure it's black. Click done, stretch it to fill up half of the page like so, and then I can check on my text and move my text around so that it fills the gap a bit better. Make it a little bit bigger, like so. I like it like that, it works for me on this one. So I've got my text, I've got my black, all I need to do now is add the image. So I go to photos, from a photo library, from my Adobe Access folder, find the photo I want, add it, move freely, and it will sit on top of the text at the moment. So scale it how I want it. And then before I do anything else, I go to where it says blend, and I go on screen, and it automatically fits it to fit with the text. So you've instantly got it filled in how you want it. No need to do any filters, no need to do any masking. It's automatically how you want it to look. Okay, I find this a really easy technique to use. And then the great thing is, once you've done that, you can click back on your text. You can click back on your text. And you can go to recommendations. And it'll give you a whole bunch of different variations to play around with. I actually prefer this one, so I'm going to click on that. Click on my text again, make it fit the space better. And then click on the image. And then move the image to fit with my space. And you can experiment with this lots and lots and lots of different ways. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed watching today's tutorial. I've done a few of these text portraits before, but I find Adobe Express using this new 